بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما the next thing we'll try to understand the bgp neighbors now bgp neighbors now there are two types of bgp neighbors here one is internal and external bgp but before we go ahead like here you can see just like we have ospf neighborship or ehrp neighbors here also we have bgp neighbors so bgp neighbors are nothing but when you configure the bgp between these two routers so you need to configure with the neighbor command and once they become the neighbors they will start exchanging the routes between them just like any other dynamic routing protocols and again they use a tcp port number 179 that's a tcp connection which is being used so in case if you have any firewall in between you need to make sure that you are going to permit or acl to permit tcp port number 179 now again we'll see the bgp neighbor configurations probably in our next topics but before that we need to understand the different types of neighbors we have something called internal bgp neighbors and external bgp neighbors now the basic difference between these two is let's say this is my autonomous system number or this is my organization like if you remember i explain initially that you might be running bgp on selected routers like i said this is my organization where all these routers they are actually running ospf or ehrp protocol so maybe they are using ospf to communicate with each other within the network and you will be running bgp on selected routers mostly the routers which connects to the service borders the border routers or if it is a service border then you might be running bgp on almost every router maybe you run bgp here bgp here because every router might be connecting to some customer right so now in this scenarios we need to establish neighborship between these two routers these two routers and this neighborship we call as internal bgp neighbor because this router and this router is in the same as let's say my organization assigned with some as number let's say 500 okay so if two routers are forming the neighborship like in this case these two routers they do establish the neighbor relationship and we call them as internal bgp neighbors like i said here you need to run ibgp between these two now why because normally most of the time you might think like why there is a need for ibgp where you already have an ospf because ospf is for all but bgp is for only for these two routes so you get the routes from here as well as here and you send the routes here so if there is any problem here still this router can go from here right so that's the reason you still run internal bgp neighbors between your selected routers similar way we we will be conferring this router and the service border router let's say service border is using as 1000 these two also will form neighborship and here we call them as external bgp neighbors because you need to exchange the routes not only with this router now this router and this router these two also form neighbors and because this router is in 65200 and this is in 500 you still have neighborship between these two routers and we call them as external bgp neighbors whereas when you are forming the neighborship between these two routers we call them as internal bgp neighbors because they both belong to the same autonomous system number so that's the difference between internal and the external bgp here 